My question this morning, all around the world, when is the last time you looked somebody eye to eye and you told them about Jesus? Because here's the deal. I'm a Broncos fan, and if you're a Raiders fan, I will look at you right in your eyes with no hesitation and say that I really don't like your team. And I don't care how you feel. And I know we have OU fans and OSU fans, and we're in Oklahoma. We don't care about their feelings in those moments, we care about what we believe. We love people in Texas and Oklahoma. We want them to go to know Jesus and go to heaven with us. But man, in those OU Texas games, we don't like them very much. And we'll be passionate about it and we don't care what they think. Well, what has to happen in the body of Christ is a shift to say, I want you around the world in this room to be more passionate about telling people about the cross of Jesus Christ than you are about anything else in your life. Because when we get to that point, the revolution starts. The worst thing we can do, we have pastors in this room, is is to depend on the pastors to do all the work. The worst thing that you can do is to say, man, he's got it. You're a man. You are some of the most capable people on the planet. And you know when you get married, the Bible says that you are the head of your wife like Christ is the head of the church. I don't care if you've been divorced four, five, six times. Today is the, today is the day that you commit to win. It's the third quarter. And you have to make a decision to say, I'm going to commit to live out the gospel and not the feelings of my past. I'm gonna commit to live out the gospel and not my feelings in the moment. Man, I'm a fitness trainer. If you come to me and say, man, I don't feel like working out today and you wanna work out with me, I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. Go to the bathroom, get a tissue, suck it up and get your butt back out here because we're gonna go to work because I don't care how you feel. I go, I don't feel like sharing the gospel today. Good, so you feel like sending somebody, allowing somebody in your life to die and they go to hell and you have the opportunity to tell them about Jesus? No, man, God's got that taken care of. Really, really. The Great Commission is our responsibility. It is not the pastor's responsibility alone. It is the men in the church to take a stand, to say, what would happen this life for everybody watching all around the world if you, this one year, over this next year, if you had the opportunity face-to-face to lead somebody to a personal relationship with Jesus Christ? What would the world look like in a year? What would you do in your local church? What would your local church look like if you eye to eye invited somebody, one other man every week to your church? What would it look like? I'm gonna tell you what it would look like. It would look like winning. 